I broke a thousand hearts before I met you. Oh, ah, I keep forgetting. No intro. Sorry. Uh, I don't know if you've ever watched the TV reality show Big Brother. Um, when it first started, I enjoyed the first episode. I said in a previous post I'd gotten involved on a reality TV website. And that was one of the reasons why to share viewing the show and that with them. Haven't really gotten into it since the second one. Uh, watched the last one, the people were a little too vacuous and stupid. And <laughs> they're all a bunch of evil backstabbers and they all think they're the cat's ass and God's gift to humanity. Um, anyways, I was just watching the first episode of the latest one to see what it was like. And there's one guy, Dan. He's a Catholic school teacher. And another guy had introduced himself, so of course Dan went off to the black room where they could talk to the camera and no one can hear them. And Dan's like, oh, I, I kind of connect with this guy. We can do so much damage together. Uh, basically saying that he will act very counter to his religion. But hey, it's okay because once the show's over, I'll go do confession and then I'm fine. I, I think that's one of the problems I've always had with Christianity was you can be the biggest ass, the most evil person, but if you say you're sorry in the end, be it on your deathbed, a confessional, whatever, all's forgiven. Doesn't matter what you did in your life that was so evil, you are now forgiven. It's probably why I like the idea of karma. More of a Buddhist, Buddhist or Hindu idea. Hindus have the wheel of karma too, I believe. You know, and it's the good you do and the bad you do in your life, in the end, were you more good, more bad? Do they balance out? Um, just this this quick, easy fix. And, I mean, face it, today in the West, that's what people want. The quick, easy fix. Quickie divorces, quickie marriages, quickie annulments, quickie trials. Um, it's To me, it's, it's kind of ludicrous. If a person is a Catholic school teacher, considers themselves to be a devout Catholic, then why brag that you're going to break the commandments? But it's okay, because, you know, I'm going to apologize for it later. Th that whole idea of the easy out just irritates me. Frankly, if the guy had said that to me, I'd want to smack him upside the head. Evidently, his beliefs aren't that strong. If he believes he can just do that, then they don't matter. They're beliefs of convenience. Which I suppose makes him a hypocrite. And I don't like hypocrites. Um, anyways, it might be a good show this year. I might actually watch the second episode. Mind you, part of the reason I watch it now will be see to see how much of an ass this guy is. Um, but now, anyways, this probably should have been a rant instead of a Flint's Follies, but my folly is I like to watch Big Brother, or I used to. Anyways, have a good day. Uh, Flinty Boy needs a second cup of coffee right now. Take care.